Welcome back to San Joaquin Audits. On this channel, we take a look at police interaction videos. Today's video comes to us from the channel Bedford TV, and it demonstrates one of the laziest and worst examples of a cop we've seen on this channel. On December 16th, 2016, Andrew was doing his daily jog after school when he was stopped by Deputy Clark of the Harris County Sheriff's Department in Houston, Texas. This video specifically highlights how lazy cops are in conducting real investigations and almost turning an innocent young man into a victim just because he fails to conduct a thorough investigation. Let's take a look and let me know your thoughts below in the comment section. What are you running for? I'm jogging. You jogging? Yeah. yeah. You, think, you think I broke a cram? I didn't do anything. I don't know. How old are you? Huh? How old are you? Why are you stopping me? What? Why are you stopping me? Well, we just had a robbery down there, and what? it kind of matched the description. Uh, you got some ID on you? Uh, no? Yeah. How old are you? 17. 17. Yeah. Where? Yeah. Where do you live? Apartments. What's your name? I don't want to tell you. Huh? I don't want to tell you. Well, have a seat then, because I'm going I'm I'm to get it with you one way or the other. You understand what I'm saying? Why? Because you're not identifying yourself to me and I'm investigating a crime. Sit down yeah, on the ground. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah. But uh, my name's Andrew. Huh? Andrew. Have a seat on the ground. Right now. I'm going to light your ass up. You're not complying. No ID. I'm investigating a robbery. You're running from that area. Okay? No. I'm just jogging. You might be. It's a law that you have ID on. I'm 17. 17 is an adult. Send them that uh, minor on West of your trust. And what's your. Uh, Take the phone off of it. 4415. I'm recording it? Yeah. Okay. I'm just making sure. Make sure what? You didn't do anything. I'm not gonna do anything as long as you, as long as you're in compliance. You know, you want to be uh, obstinate. You know, and don't want to give me your ID. Say you don't have an ID. You don't want to give me your name. Cause you're you know. folding me. Yeah, I told you I'm investigating a robbery that come down there from the Walgreens, right where you come right from. Me so if you hadn't done anything, you're good to go. Okay, I'm fixing to find out. Good for you. All right. arrived on that scene yet where they can uh, get a description of this male that I'm detaining right now. Negative, they're still around, but per the comments, he should be wearing a blue sweatshirt. Do I have a blue sweatshirt on? No, thank you. I do not. Okay, he's got a blue sweatshirt on. Did it have a... It's a black. A Mustang logo on the front with an M, blue. Yeah. The caller didn't specify. They just said blue sweatshirt. You want me to have Central Bill call back? Yes, if you would, please. Can okay. Can I get your name? Deputy Clark. Uh, badge number? Not only does Deputy Clark threaten to tase Andrew and make him sit on the ground, he does an extremely poor job of articulating reasonable suspicion that Andrew committed a crime other than the same old corrupt phrase that he matches a description of someone involved with a burglary. Keep in mind that when he calls into dispatch, he asks for a rundown of the description, which means that he just seen Andrew jogging and immediately focused on him being a suspect without knowing a full description. 
and to top it off, he lies about the color of Andrew's hoodie, stating that he has a blue hoodie on. Andrew was running with a black hoodie on that demonstrated a blue M. This has got to be some of the laziest policing ever. Let's keep watching because it only gets worse. school I don't want to tell you, you don't want to tell me? no okay I guess we're gonna have to do this another route what are you doing I'm gonna put you in cuffs till I get some information from you guys you being I go to Davis Davis that's all you give me uh -huh. turn around put your hands I'll give back. you anything turn around and oh put your hands God. behind your back that's bad. It ain't you, I'll let you go. But you being uncooperative, then we'll deal with it another way. What are you doing? So Deputy Clark placed Andrew in cuffs and ended the recording on his phone. He released him after finding out that he wasn't the suspect that they were looking for. He posted an update video on his channel the day after explaining the conclusion of the interaction, but basically the cop uncuffed him and didn't say a word and just let him go. This is exactly why cops earn the hate that they are given. Videos like this. Props to Andrew for recording the interaction. If he had not recorded this interaction, who knows how it could have gone. But that is going to do it for today's video. Let me know your thoughts below in the comment section. The way that you cop it, we don't give no option. Camera gon' shoot in nine minutes, keep that rollin', don't stop it. They don't know now, we gon' teach them head that. By my country, head that. This my country, head that. False conviction, you got a power addiction. We on the road, me and the bro, telling the story so everyone know. Send them to hell, little Nikki. San Joaquin, shout out the crew. We gon' show the world don't miss it. My whole team on the mission. My eyes wide open, I see everything you doing. Check the law. I know my rights like a pastor bar. I'ma make sure you know yours and all. Home of the brave, free us all. Can't do it all and we stand and talk. Only real criminals behind bars. Only real criminals behind bars. Oh, excuse me, Mr. Officer. Why you wanna pull me over for? This is public property. You not 